heartbreaking. 15 killed 63 wounded in attack on Americans. This month has been among the bloodiest on record, leaving 15 dead and an additional 63 victims were wounded in the brutal ambush in one week. As people in this area are trying to come to grips with the sudden attack, President Donald Trump will soon be addressing it, as he's expected to make an announcement about the bloodbath that has never been said before. While most people were looking forward to the weekend, Chicago thugs were preparing for a bloodbath knowing that nobody would stop them at their killing game that began on Jan 1 and continued through this past Friday. Officials in Chicago have overlooked the problems in their city for too long and it's been at the cost of countless lives. As Barack Obama's former hometown, he didn't seem to want to address it either and the rising murder rate is also a big part of his legacy having made excuses for criminals and empowered Black Lives Matter. Now that there is a real leader in charge, President Donald Trump isn't letting murderous thugs get away with this killing spree at a rate of one fatality every hour and 45 minutes in the Windy City, according to stats provided by HeyJackass.com. The respect for human life is completely absent in the tight gun-controlled city on both ends of the spectrum. Thugs pick their victims at random without concern for age, as was seen this weekend with the unprecedented violence. This lack of respect extends to local government which has done nothing to stop in and remove citizens' right to defend themselves against it. Nine news reports of a boy who lost his life today while trying to earn money to buy his family Christmas presents. Brian Jasso and his stepfather were driving their newspaper route early Sunday morning when the assailants in another vehicle rear-ended them. The gunman, who witnesses told police was hanging out of the passenger side of the suspect's car then opened fire and wounded the teen in the head. Riccio said that investigators suspect that the shooting of the paperboy may have been connected to another incident in the city that occurred about eight hours earlier in which two people were killed, a 25-year-old man and 21-year-old woman, and a third man was wounded. Police say that incident was a gang-related shooting. In the gang-related shooting, detectives found 77 rifle casings at the scene of the crime. Riccio said. No arrests have been made in either shooting. More than 630 people have been murdered in Chicago thus far in 2017, according to police. The nation's third largest city is on pace to record significantly fewer murders than it did last year when it tallied more than 760 murders, according to police records. Still, the city is on pace to again record more murders than New York and Los Angeles combined in 2017. New York's and Los Angeles' combined population is about 12.5 million, while Chicago's population is about 2.7 million. President Trump has repeatedly criticized Chicago over the gun violence, and once again laid into the city during a speech last week at the FBI's Academy in Quantico, Virginia. Chicago has become more of a war zone than a place to call home, where it's not even safe to go outside without risking your life. Now Trump has come out announcing that Chicago cops need to be able to do their job, which would stop this crime spree immediately. President Donald Trump's claim that a mystery police officer has a quick fix for Chicago's violent crime problems continued to evolve Wednesday night, as the president claimed the unnamed cop told him if they let us do our job we could stop it immediately, CBS reports. By being very much tougher than they are right now. They're right now not tough. Trump said in an August 2016 interview with Bill O'Reilly. When I was in Chicago. I got to meet a couple of very top police. I said, how do you stop this, how do you stop this? If you were put in charge. Do you think you could stop this? He said, Mr. Trump, I'd be able to stop it in one week. And I believed him 100%. Almost as shocking as the overwhelming crime rate in the city, is the fact that in 90% of these cases, where victims were either injured or killed, not a single suspect has been charged. Alan B. West reported. Perhaps this statistic came out at the end of Barack Obama's presidency, after allowing thugs to run free and excuse it is what disgruntled millennials do when suffering from poverty. What's interesting to note is that not a single one of these shootings this month involved a police officer, which is a big statistical change since Trump has been in office. Now, 
things could be getting a lot worse for these thugs and better for the city suffering under their wrath since our president has vowed to combat the gangster and thug issue that runs rampant in inner cities across the country. He's one of the first to take a bold stance against it, proving he's not afraid of these criminals, and it's only a matter of time before he publicly addresses this issue again after his executive orders on the matter and sending ATF, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, agents and to help. Among his pile of important executive orders to get the country back on track, were three crucial ones targeting gangs, drugs, and crimes against cops. According to CNBC, the executive orders will focus on gang members, drug dealers, drug cartels and crimes against law enforcement officers, Bussell reported. During Jeff Sessions' formal ceremony after his confirmation, President Trump announced his plans for these three executive orders, which give more authority to law enforcement. During his ceremony, Sessions said that the U.S. has a crime problem that may be a dangerous permanent trend, Bussell's reports added. In an effort to remedy this, Trump's latest executive orders will specifically target what he views as the leading causes of crime, gang members, drug cartels and dealers, and those who commit crimes against cops. If anyone is doing more for the black community and proving black lives matter than Barack Obama, it's his successor, President Trump. 88% of the victims in Chicago are black and were all ignored while Obama was in office, pushing and supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. Trump will single-handedly save countless black lives by cracking down in these thugs who kill other people, many of whom are random and just in the wrong place at the wrong time in the war zone. War zone.